Hi. It wasn't that long ago that we were told for the first time we lived in a global village. And in, in, from the 60s forward, we began to be able to experience more of the world with less of a time gap. Now, we can experience much of the world and communicate with much of the world instantly. But the problem with a global village is that sometimes we just seem to share a kind of global insanity, a global uh, rumor mongering. Take, for example, what happened so tragically not so long ago, because it's been 10 days now uh, since the attempted assassination on, on, on Congressman Gifford. And the, and, the, and the killing of these multiple people. Uh, before long, within minutes, uh, a myth was emerging that these killings had resulted from uh, political speech. There were responses to Limbaugh, or there were responses to other right-wing people. They were the product of hate speech. And there was a suggestion, once we had some facts about the young man, that, oh, this is another example of the personalizing effects of the internet and how the internet itself, as a communications community, breeds violence. I think that's nonsense. I think that uh, if you want to see a, a, a mean, dispiriting, debilitating place, don't look at the internet. Look at the average high school. Meanness is in people. It's not in this choice of communications tool. To the contrary, there's plenty of evidence. Take a look at much of what's on Facebook. That the internet permits people to react to each other in a positive way, even if you believe it would be more positive if people were reacting face to face. But I don't see any evidence that the internet makes people uh, uh, violent or makes people less caring. People who are less caring and go to the internet, are brutal and go to the internet, uh, may gain anonymity in which to act those things out. But I don't see how the internet can make people uh, a violent. I don't think it happens that way. But what we need to do is to make sure that we have these discussions, that we don't go off half cocked, that we don't begin to blame the internet for things that are inside people. What we've seen in this case is that one young man uh, with severe mental problems attached his anger against a particular public figure, a member of Congress, in the same way that a generation ago uh, an angry young man uh, shot the Pope, and another angry young man in a very short period of time shot John Lennon, and the way a few years before that, an angry young man had shot Robert Kennedy. The world is full of sick people who attach their uh, sickness to public figures, or to just strangers uh, walking down the street, or strangers in a Burger King or a McDonald's. Uh, but because of that, we shouldn't be, what, attempting uh, to regulate the internet and free speech, attempting to search out and, uh, and destroy everyone who may be odd? I don't think so. Cooler heads should prevail. In conclusion, the internet is not guilty of what happened. The internet is generally given a bad reputation it doesn't deserve.